Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and this is the richest gold ore I have ever mined. And on today's video, we're going to get the gold out of it. But for those of you new to the channel, or may want to get caught up on where I got this stuff from, I'm going to put that video right after this introduction, and then later in the video, we're going to crush this down, smelt it, turn it into a gold button, and we'll figure out how rich this mine actually is. Hey guys, <laughs> come on in and check out this gold mine I found. All right, we're going in. Let's see what we can see here. It's a little tight. This one's a little bit tight. Oh, just got it. Just got to get down here a little bit. Let's see what we can see. Huh. Looks like the stalls aren't holding up the roof anymore. That's probably not a real good sign. Kind of spooky, huh? There's a little bit of vein there. Yikes. That's a tight spot. Let's see if I can get through that hole. All right, I'm trying to sneak through this little hole with my gear. And it's pretty tight. Maybe if I go on my belly. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Wow. Well, that was that was scary. Hold on, let me get my stuff. Down here, where the where I can at least stand up a little bit. Uh. Oh. oh, wow, that was spooky. That's that's really not a good. That's really not a good spot. I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't even be down here. Look at these big chunks that have fallen off the hanging wall. There's the vein. Some pillars they left. There's some stalls. Oh, this is a creepy one. Let's see. We're going on a real, real time adventure here. Nice little vein showing. Oh yeah. All right, we'll be working some of that for sure. And, oh man, these stalls are old, rotten. <laughs> it must have been rich because they, they took all the Almost all the quartz. Well, here's a little look at the vein. And it looks like they kind of opened up an area here where they could at least get in and work. And then they just chipped the vein down. It's maybe a foot or 16 inches. A little bigger over there. But they just worked as far as they could down into that little crack. And they probably just stopped where they couldn't couldn't go anymore. Oh, my light sucks. 
the one that was on my hat fell off on the hike up, so I'm I'm on my backup light here. But let's get up here and see if we can find any gold in the face. Oh, it's not it's not very mineralized, but. I think, I think we'll be, oh, what's this? What do I got here? Can you see that? Let's see if I can get my light right. That looks pretty good. Chipping in there a little bit. There's some more gray looking stuff. There's some good looking stuff right here. Let's see right in there. All right, I'll get the camera set up and get my hammer and chisel. and We'll start going to town on this thing and hopefully I don't kill myself. All right, guys, well, I hope you can see. I'm gonna try and work this piece off the hanging wall here. I got my little roto hammer, little hammer chisel. Let's see how this goes here. Oops. Well, let me try a hammer and chisel here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, let's try a different spot. Well, here's a few pieces I got off the wall. And... There's some really nice looking stuff right in here, right in there. And it kind of wraps around in this band. So let's see if I can bust this open. There's a piece of gold right, right there. And all, all this black stuff, I hope you can see it there. Nice little piece. Putting stuff in my bag there. Let's see about breaking this thing some more. This is some really, really rich stuff. But I am not going to lie to you. I'm not at all ashamed, <laughs> ashamed to say in this. It's scary down here. I, I do not like it. I don't want to be down here. And so I don't know how long I'm going to be down here. But all this gray, shiny stuff is where the gold hangs out. And I've got some in my sack there. Lots of nice pieces with free gold on them that I can show you out in the daylight. But when we get this back to the shop and get it crushed up, it's going to be absolutely loaded. There, I think you can see it now. If I hold real still. Nice gold. Really, really nice gold. Check out this piece. So when I turn it, see all the gold sticking off the rock there? Look at that. <laughs> There's some nice golden quartz. That is a nice piece. That's going in my pocket. Oh, best piece yet.
Look at that. Woo! Man, this this is probably the richest mine I've ever been in. I'm finding really, really nice pieces of gold. God, it's the scariest. It gives me the willies being down here. But that, look at that. That is just first class golden quartz right there. Oh, yeah. Love it. All right, guys. Well, I don't know if you can see me, but I've gone around the stope in a couple different places, tried to chip in the walls, and it's just too dang hard. It's just it's just way too hard. And whoever was in here mining last, they, they got all the way as far as they could with hammer and chisel until it was too hard. So I can't do much else. But what I have found is I'm sitting, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm sitting on a pile of, of old muck. And I don't know if this is something that the miners left or forgot about, but I've been going through it and I've been finding lots and lots of really good gold. I'm kind of zeroing in on what to look for now. So I'm going to keep going through this because I don't have to break it and I can get a lot of volume through and, and look at all the pieces. And so I'm going to take a, a, a very small amount of muck back with me, but it'll be hopefully the super highest grade stuff. I'm getting... I'm. <laughs> I'm getting a ton of gold, just just lots of gold. I'm almost, I'm I'm I, I bet I'm getting every piece has gold, or at least every other piece has gold on the surface. And I've probably got I don't know 10, 15 pounds. So I'm really really excited to run this stuff through the equipment back in the shop. But I'm going to spend the rest of my time here going through this this pile of muck, and then when we get out in the light again, I'll try and show you some of the uh, some of the golden quartz specimens that I found. And oh, this is this is super super rich stuff. Oh oh guys 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 check this out. So I'm I got a little brave and I went up into the stove and found this pillar. And look here along the hanging wall. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can point and run the camera at the same time. But there's gold in the face down there, right about the middle of the screen, right along the foot wall. There's more gold in there, I think. It's hard to tell. But you come around this pillar, and all that is just really good stuff. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and then look over here. Somebody's been picking over here on this pillar. But right up in, right up in there, there's gold in the face. Oh, you're really, really not supposed to pick on these pillars. There's gold, there's gold up there. See it? Yeah, that's right here. See it in there? Oh, it's just... Oh, I don't know how to take that out safely. But, God, there's just gold. Look, look, look. Look over here. See that piece? Right, right there at the edge of the... Oh, look at that piece. I just I need to bring tweezers next time and just pull out tweezers. Oh. All right. Um oh, I I might pick a little bit at it. Let me pick a let me pick a little bit at it. Oh, what would you do? You know, if it was you and there's a bunch of gold nuggets staring you in the face, would you pick at it? Or would you leave it be? It's tough to say, huh? Leave me a comment, let me know. Okay, this is, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be real delicate here. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Let's see, can you see there? Yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna pick off some of that stuff. Where's my bag? There's my bag. I'm gonna need that. Now, if I can just be real, real gentle and just 
grab the loose stuff. Okay, well, there's not much loose stuff. Let me see if I can get my that in the bag. See if I can get my chisel, and my hammer, and I figure this stuff is okay because it's not there's it's not holding up anything. I'll keep my eye on that piece of gold. Oh, all right, gentle, gentle. Gentle, gentle. Okay, here we go. It's coming. It's coming. Oh. All right. There it is. There it is. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Easy. Easy, easy. Easy does it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can show you. Show you where it is. Okay, let's do this. Right. Hold on. Right there. Look at that. A little gold wire sticking up. Sticking up out of there. Ooh. Gold in the face. All right, that's going in the bag. And then, yeah, that's going in the bag. Oh, there's more gold. There's more gold right there. Oh, okay. All right, let me get this stuff in the bag. And then... Gentle, gentle. Right there, that piece. That piece has got gold on it. Oh. Man, oh man. Get out of there. Come on. Okay. Loose. Whoa. Whoa. Easy, easy, easy. So it looks like it's right along the foot wall for the most part. Oh, 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 get that piece. All right, I got that piece. That's looking pretty good. I got that piece. That's looking real good. Put them in the bag. Hammer and chisel. Oh, I'm just all, just all discombobulated here. I'm trying to get all the gold out of here. Look at that piece of gold, huh? Whoa, man. Look at that little nugget. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that is nice. That is nice, nice stuff. Woo! All right. I think that one should go in my pocket, huh? Let's put that in my pocket. The pocket's getting pretty, pretty full of specimens here. What else we got? This is the real meal deal here. All right. Oh, yeah. There's some gold in there. Let me show you. Try and show you here. It's back. It's kind of down in there. It's not as showy. The showy is the last one. That's right down in there. Put it in the bag. Put it in the bag. What else we got? Got anything there? I don't see anything. My bag's getting a little bit heavy. But I guess that's okay when it's full of gold. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a good piece. That's gonna be a good piece. 
Oh, I don't hit the camera. That's a good piece. Yeah. Put him in the bag. Gold right here. Uh, how do I get that one out of there? Oh, uh oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Anything good there? I don't, I don't see, I don't see any nuggets on that one, so he'll go in the bag. There's a piece, there's a piece of gold sticking out right there. I wonder if I can get it, or if I, it's pretty solid. Oh no, it fell off. Oh, it fell off. Um, okay, well, we'll just scoop all this stuff up and put it in the bag. There we are. Okay. All right, well, let me keep working here a little bit more and we'll see what else I can find. Well, we've moved over to the other side of this pillar and I just knocked off that piece of quartz that had that gold sticking out of it. Whoa, I'm all right. <sighs> Tip of my finger. There you go. See it? Yeah, buddy. More gold. You know, my sack's getting heavy, but it's full of gold. Loaded with gold. I'm going to pick a little bit more on that pillar down here on the foot walls where I'm finding the gold. And then I don't I don't want to I don't want to chip too much on it because that's the only thing holding up the ceiling. Okay, let's see what I can get going here. So there's a already existing crack right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. Here's a piece. All this stuff right along the foot wall has some good gold in it. Yeah, piece of gold on that. So we'll put him in the bag. What I really want is this big slab right here. If I can get it. Oh, the filming conditions down here aren't very good, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh, okay, what do we got on this piece? Ooh, yeah. More gold, lots of gold. <sighs> All right, down there, on my thumb. Good stuff. All these, all these seams with this black stuff in them are real good. Put it in the bag. else do we have up here? Whew. Okay, well, I've worked through my pile of muck here. Here's all the quartz that I'm not going to take with me. I got probably half a bag there, like 20, 25 pounds. And so I'm pretty much finished processing at this point. I want to get out of here and not get squashed. But Curiosity is going to hopefully not kill the cat here because I found a little winds over here. Ooh, get through this little tight spot. And then, if you look down, 
There's a there's a winds down there. So I'm gonna do my best to film this and we'll go explore and figure out what is going on down here. But I gotta climb down this 45 degree winds and I can already tell my light's not cooperating with me very well. So maybe we'll just bag it. Now we're here. Go oh, out. Okay. Going down, down, down. Don't want to get tripped up. And I think I can leave some chapters here. So you guys can skip ahead if you don't want to see the mine exploration tour. Maybe if I hold it, is that a little better? So this looks like a big tunnel. Or an added, I guess. Transfer tunnel? I don't know. As we're going down. I don't see the vein here anywhere. So we're going along and then here's another draw point it looks like. It goes up into the stope. So it looks like this tunnel I'm in now, or this adit, is underneath the stope, and they sent ore down those draw points to this transfer tunnel. And I'm assuming this goes out somewhere down to a mill. Someone's been in here flagging. Probably sampling years ago. Oh, what's this? Here's another. Here's another one of these draw points. See, they built these wooden, these wooden chutes, and they probably had a door on them so you could roll the ore cart underneath it here, and dump your ore down it. There's something, there's a big stope up there. We might go up there in a little minute. Oh, here's some vein. There's some vein on the wall. And, oh, it looks like they stoped down. But that's all underwater. Ooh, that's creepy. Ooh, I wonder where that goes. Well, I'm not gonna find out today. Maybe if I shine the light in the wall, you can see better. Here's another draw point. Well, there's a bunch of them. Go up into the stope. bit of water. It's been so dry this summer though I don't think there's much water going through this mine. Oh, there's an old piece of steel. That's kind of cool. Drill steel. Maybe they had jack legs in here. Now we're coming around the corner here. Oh, uh-oh. What do we got here? We got a bunch of planks. And then we got a big hole. Goes down, way down. Long way down. Ladders down there. And it keeps going over that way. But 
I am, I'm not going to be able to get over there. It looks like it goes up there a little bit on the left. Big, big ore draw point there on the right. But this is the end of the line for me. I'm not going down there, that's for sure. So let me, uh, let me go back to one of those draw points and we'll go up into the stope in a different spot. Well, we just came up that draw point and it's a lot shorter than the one I went down. But here's the vein. We're right in the edge of the stope. There's the, the hanging wall looks like it's in better shape here. Not a lot of rocks coming down. There's a little pillar they left. Looks like kind of carved out a little ore, ore shoot there. A little transfer tunnel. I cannot believe how these guys did all this work back in the day. Either by hand or by, I mean, even if they were hand stealing or if they were drilling with a jack leg, this is unbelievably hard work. Setting stalls. Ooh, there's a, so there's a little slip right there. And this hanging wall, that's a real weak spot in the hanging wall. That's probably why they left that pillar and got a bunch of these stalls up here. Let's go up here a little bit. We'll look at these. This pillar. I get my footing here. Oh, huh. Looks like somebody was in here kind of mining out, the <laughs> robbing that pillar there a little bit, huh? They left some, but not a lot. And then there's a bunch of rocks that are coming down from the hanging wall. So that's, that's kind of nasty. But look here, that hanging wall is real nice. There, another pillar up here. Ooh, but look at that, big, big slabs have come down, big chunks of the hanging wall. Yeah, that's no good. Let's look at this pillar here. Uh, ooh. Oh, that's ugly. Look at that. That pillar's all broken. It all fell down. I don't know if somebody was picking on it or if it shifted and the hanging wall or foot wall moved just a little bit and it sheared that, that pillar. See those cracks in it? Yeah, see, it's all just broken. That pillar's not doing nothing. So I don't like to... I don't like to be sitting there. Let's go over here a little bit. Now we're looking not great on the hanging wall. Oh boy. Uh oh. Rock. So this is pretty nasty. Here's our fairly good hanging wall. And look at there, there's a big break. And there's just big, huge monkers dropping down into the stope. Probably can't see very well, but there's that slip or seam or whatever it is. And man, the, the whole the whole hanging wall up stope is just dropped down about two or three feet. So I'm out of here. I want to get out of here. Well, let's go back down our little rays here. Go over and get our tools. Go out in the light and see some golden quartz specimens I got. Oh yeah, look at that. Here, look at this pillar from the top. See, it's just it's totally sheared. It's not even doing nothing. One more thing I'm thinking about here as I'm climbing up this little winds. They let me get you oriented here. Hold on, we got that's up. And what they did is they dropped all their ore down this winds down to that transfer tunnel down there. And I'm looking here, look at all these cracks where, let's see, see there, come down and snipe all these things and see if you can find any gold. 
because as they're dropping the ore, you know it's breaking up and gold's falling off. So come down through here with a spoon and a... I mean, look at that, it's just, it's just prime. The bedrock cracks and all the gold from the whole stoke came falling down through this three foot, four foot wide zone. So I don't have the tools with me today. And man, I don't know if I even want to come back here ever again. Let's look at some golden quartz here. If I can get it in focus. I got to clean them up a little bit. Look at that, I pounded the tar out of my finger today too. But I got to clean them up a little bit. But there's some real nice looking golden quartz there. Here's another one that has a bunch, but the big piece is right down in there. And it just they just stick out of there, right off the quartz. So we'll go use some acid on these. I'll try a couple different things again. You guys gave me some good comments on the last video. I tried to clean up golden quartz so i'll try some of those things but i think this is the this is probably the granddaddy piece here see that yeah buddy that is a beautiful piece of bright shiny metallic yellow golden quartz it's like a little platy i don't know It's pretty cool though. That is a that is an awesome piece. I like how shiny yellow it is. That is cool. So this is probably one of the richest mines I've ever been in. I mean, being able to just pick gold off the wall like that is just crazy. I mean, there's not very many places in the world you can do that. But it's also one of probably the scariest mines I've ever been in because having that hanging wall falling off and there's big chunks and it's it's all ravelly and you don't know if you just touch it with your hard hat and it comes down on you. So I was on pins and needles the whole time, but um, I'm glad I went in. I probably won't be coming back. It just wigs me out too much. Hey, look, it's my light. <sighs> that would have been nice to have up there. So the first thing I want to do is pick through this pile, take out all the pieces that are super high grade, and maybe we can find some specimens and the rest I want to put in the saw and cut them up and see if we can get any free gold on the surface. But then the rest of the stuff I'll put through the crusher and then we'll concentrate the gold and smelt it down. There's our ore. Our stuff weighs about, take off two pounds for the buckets, about 13 and a half pounds or about six kilograms. I've picked out two different piles. This is a pile that I want to run through my rock saw. There's some little tiny flecks of visible gold in here, but these are big enough where I can actually slab them up. And like this stuff is the good looking stuff right there. So we want to get that slabbed up, see if there's any gold inside. These pieces here are the ones that actually have visible gold on them. Let's see if I can get up here close enough. But there's a really nice piece. There's another one here somewhere. Oh yeah, look here on the, on the edge. See that right there? So we can work with those later, and I'm going to look at these under the microscope as well so we can get an idea what those look like. But now for the bucket I have here, we're going to run it through a little lab crusher and crush it down to about a quarter inch. I, I just can't help myself. I'm gonna screen this to quarter inch and the fines, the fines will go in the fine crusher, but I wanna look through the oversized pieces first to see if we find any more gold. 
there's what went through the quarter inch screen and here's what's on the quarter inch screen so bigger than quarter and that looks good so i'm just going to go through this real quick and i'll show you if i find anything oh there's a piece see that right there Woo! nice that's a good piece found these four nice gold on there and it hangs out right with that gray sulfide or mineral, whatever it is. Now we'll run it down through this little machine. This is a little Bico pulverizer. Feed goes in there. This plate turns. That one stays stationary and then the quartz gets crushed down until it can come out that little slot there into my uh, patent pending garbage can lid tray underneath. So it crushes up pretty fine. I got it adjusted. Underneath, there's a little bit of a coarser grind there. So hopefully I got most of the gold liberated. We'll see. Well, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out some of this, put it in a bag, because someone out there is gonna be able to join in the fun. So I'm gonna put this sack right out of the fine crusher on eBay starting at a dollar and somebody's gonna be able to join in the fun and see how much gold they can get out of this stuff. So check out our eBay listings, link in the description below. It's gonna take me two pans worth, because I've got so much material. But let me get this pan down, and we'll see what we got for concentrates. Here's the panning concentrates from everything I crushed. And there's this black mineral in there, sulfide or something. But there's quite a bit of gold for, you know, I don't know, ten, less than 10 pounds. And a lot of it's coarse. See like these pieces here, they're kind of dull, rusty looking. They get rolled up in that grain mill pulverizer disc mill thing. And so it turns them kind of that dull color but a lot of coarse gold, a little bit of fine gold up here, not a whole lot. But nice little pile of gold there in the corner. That's for sure. So now let's get it melted into a button. I wanna go back and use one of my old tricks for cleaning up this gold. And I'm gonna take my snuffer bottle, suck up as much clean gold as I can get. Now I've got my gold cons in the snuffer bottle here. Pull out the straw and I can shake all the gold down right to that tip. Put it down in this cloth. See like that? And then I can put it right directly into the cupelling furnace and get it melted down into a nice clean gold button without having to screw around with the big furnace and trying to smelt and flux and all that stuff. So there's our gold. I can take the blue cloth, twist it and wring as much water out as I can. Now we'll go put it in our furnace with a little bit of bismuth oxidize away all those sulfides and base metals. We'll be left with a nice pure gold button. There's our little blue shop towel. I've got our cupel all heated up. I'm gonna put that in there, let it warm up and burn off the paper. Now in goes our bismuth. That melts quickly. That'll alloy with all the gold and everything. And as it starts to oxidize, the bismuth oxides will be absorbed into that cupel and the precious metals won't oxidize, so they stay in the cupel as a little bead. There you go. Ooh, nice. It's opened up. Now everything's starting to oxidize. 
Well, our gold's cupelling. I'm gonna play around with this stuff now. This is the, the sulfides that I left in the pan when I snuffed the gold out. And I'm gonna smelt these down, see if we can get any more gold out of this stuff. Here's our concentrates. They weigh about 40 grams. I've mixed up 100 grams of soda ash, 50 grams of borax, and 25 grams of silica. And I've also put in about 35 grams of bismuth as a collector. Now we can put it in this fire clay crucible here and get it in the furnace, get it smelting down. I'm going to add a couple of nails for iron to reduce any sulfides to base metals. And then the, any iron matte layer hopefully will be dissolved in our slag. If we get a little thin matte layer on top of our bismuth, I think I've learned that that's okay because the iron sulfide that the nails create, if it doesn't all get absorbed, it's a very, very poor collector of precious metals. We're cooled down. Um, what I've learned is when you use bismuth, especially if there's any lead in there, then the melting point of that prill is really, really low. So I like to use water to cool it way down so you don't have any liquid metal when you do this. Pop out your slag and there should be a metal prill right there. Let's get her knocked off and see what we can find. Nice. Good separation. I don't see any mat, so that's good. Let me get it washed off a little bit with water. That's a nice looking little button. So I think, I don't remember exactly, I think I started with like 32 grams or something, 35 grams. We got 36. So there could be a couple, two or three grams of something more than we started with in there. Yeah, you got a nice warm Cupel there, put our button right inside. It's already melting. That slag will burn off and it might form a little ring right around the edge of the cupel when it's all done, but we're gonna switch gears a little bit and I'm gonna try and cut some of these samples up. And what I really wanna do is there's some banding here. There's the, the foot wall, I believe. There's another band there, and I was finding all that gold right along the foot wall. So what I want to do is, is I want to slice this thing perpendicular to the foot wall if possible. So we're going to use my new 18-inch rock saw here. I'll get them clamped in the vise, run them through that diamond blade. We'll see if we can find any more gold. And I have to give a huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much. With your support, I was able to buy this rock saw. So if you're interested in becoming a patron and supporting us, you can find the link below. We're all clamped in here. I've got my bands running this way and we're gonna cut right across them. Just worrying away that quartz there. Let's see if I can do this one hand here. We got our slab off of there. Now I can pull the bench back. How's our face look there? Hard to tell with the oil in it. And then I can take this wheel here and crank the table in. So now I can take off a slab about a quarter inch or more thick. I got six rocks cut up here and I'm not gonna make you look at all the slabs, don't worry. But every almost every one of these slabs has gold in it. And I wanted to show you with my new microscope phone microscope we'll take a look and we can i'll, I'll show you kind of like the best pieces of each rock 
And then this thing, I've, I've mentioned it in a couple other videos, this is a really cool tool if you're looking at rocks, you're looking at minerals. Uh, I got a link below if you want to check it out. But let's slap it on the camera and we'll start looking at some gold. So here's number one. And all that yellow stuff is gold. And right there in the middle of the screen, there's even a piece of gold in the quartz. And actually over there as well, you can see the yellow inside the quartz, which is pretty awesome. A lot of gold on this one. Here's number two. Beautiful yellow gold on that one. And I'm just trying to kind of high grade each slab from each piece. But pretty much anywhere you see that gray mineral, there's gold associated with it. Nice piece of gold. It kind of goes into the quartz there. You can see it going into the milky white quartz. Number four has got a nice piece of gold there. And then I'll show you. Here's another piece on one of the number four slabs. This is probably the one of the bigger pieces of gold on any of the slabs. And this one is cool. This is number six. This just has a individual little piece, but the gold wraps all the way around the outside. So this is the rough face gold, and then I cut into it, and I've got gold in the face. Now I wanted to look at a few of these pieces under the microscope as well, these free gold on the quartz pieces here. This is that nice big piece of gold right in the corner sticking out of that piece. This one's pretty cool. It's a small little piece of quartz, but it's got a big old chunk of gold hanging off it. It's so cool to see it crystalline right off the quartz like that. Another piece of shiny yellow gold. And the thing has been sitting in this vein for literally millions of years. And I just popped it off of there and I'm looking at it under a microscope. This one's quite interesting. I can't get the microscope around sideways, but you can see the gold laced all the way through that gray mineral right down to the quartz down there in the bottom. Our bead is done here. Oh, there it is. There you can see it. Nice bead. That's a that's a monster bead for eight ten pounds of ore. All right, our second bead is done here. It's tiny. There they are side by side for comparison. First bead here weighs. Wow, 1.7 grams. Our second bead weighs 0.06 grams. So together they weigh 1.75 or so. So I think we recovered 97% of gold in that first big one. And there's only 3% left in the concentrates. Well, here's the math on that. We recovered 1.75 grams from 0 .004 tons. Comes out to 437 grams a ton or 14 troy ounces per ton. Well, that was quite an adventure. And I don't care who you are, that is some incredibly rich gold ore. So I wanted to say thank you for everybody for coming along. We've got a ton of stuff listed on eBay, so check out the eBay listings. If you'd like to become a patron and support us directly, you can check out our patron page. Otherwise, thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.